beautiful girlies, it's Lindy here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back again here today with another very exciting video for you. So this is one of my Chanel collection videos, but not yet my handbags. I know you're waiting for my updated Chanel handbag collection and I promise you it is coming really soon. It's just that I still have some handbags that I didn't unbox yet. This will be my Chanel shoe collection video. So there will be more Chanel unboxings first. So don't forget to turn on the bell notification if you didn't do that yet. So you will be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. As I said, there will be so many more Chanel unboxings coming and also a Chanel giveaway. And seriously, I just wanted to come back here and film a quick video. Yes, a quick. I do not have as many pairs of Chanel shoes as I have for handbags. So I will show you the ones that I have in my collection from my most used to the least used ones. And also I have some brand new that I didn't wear yet. But we will talk while I'm sharing them with you. I'll also share you with my different handbags that I think that suits the shoes the most, you know. We quite like to match the handbags with the shoes, right? So without talking anymore, let's get into my very most used Chanel shoes. Yes, my Chanel Espadrilles and these not even in pink color. These are my most most worn number one. Really, they are so comfortable. I do have espadrilles that are not comfy at all, but it also depends on the material. So for these ones, they are lambskin and I don't even find them delicate. They are just so so comfortable and I'm sitting closer to the camera so you can really see they hold up like brand brand new and I did wipe them, so don't worry, they are not even dirty, you can see. Yes, they look super clean even though I've been wearing them so, so much. Seriously, I just feel like shoes, they really complete the look. And it is just really nice when you have like matching shoes with a matching handbag, am I right? So I'll insert some clips with me wearing these shoes and these looks absolutely stunning with my brand new classic flap in the small size, no white right there. So I was actually just shooting with this pair today and I just noticed that the handbag is even like a milky white color like the Espadrilles and also the same color as the belt that I'm wearing. It is just totally perfect match. It is more over on the creamy white side so not like off off white like the blouse that I'm wearing. So really love these and they are totally worth the money. There is not a scratch or of course wear and tear like you can see it is just becoming more and more soft but I think it's totally okay because really shoes they are meant to be worn and I feel so bad I do have some Chanel shoes that I never wear here and I feel really bad for them because like these ones they're so comfortable that I really want to wear them like every single day so they are really worth every single penny so I got these did I mention <laughs> from the 20A or was it B collection from my very big birthday haul last year I will insert the picture right here so you can see and even watch that video if you didn't watch it there's so much uncandy in that video as well so yes this is my very first pair and a very most used pair of Chanel Espadrilles and they are totally worth the money for me and actually Espadrilles they are on the cheaper side for Chanel shoes oh my gosh girlies so by the time you're watching this video I have already released my brand new princess tulle skirts which I am so happy and so excited about gosh they are just a perfect thank you so much to those of you who already placed your orders I'm sure that you will love them so so much they are all fully handmade in-house they will be telling me to fit you perfect I have the second pair here, which are my most expensive Chanel shoes. Ta -da! I love these sneakers so so much. So these are from the 20C collection. And you might be wondering if my hands get dirty and it's not nice when I touch my hair and stuff. But I did wipe all of my shoes. Like I actually wipe them every single time I've worn them. These are the most expensive ones that I have and I remember. I don't remember right. 
8,800 Hong Kong dollars or even 9,800 Hong Kong dollars. I'll leave the text right here. I don't remember. It is from the 20C, so the Cruise Collection 2020. So I love these so, so much and I'm so happy thinking about the purchase of them as I met my very, very loyal follower, which is my essay today. And it was just such a surprise. She was coming, like running against me, hugging me, and this just reminds me of her. And it was just such a heartwarming feeling, so I really am so happy. So yes, that is just extra sparkle of happiness. So these are really, really pretty and detailed. Let me just hold one so I can show you. So you can see it holds so many beautiful Chanel features. So you can see it comes with a treat that is baby pink, more on the peachy baby pink side, and in two different patterns. And it is divided with patterned leather in this nudish beige color and also some suede in the front. This is like calfskin, I believe. And there is even like the Chanel chain here. Oh, so it is going all around the shoes, which is so beautiful. You see the little CC logo right here. Oh, I am just really happy that I have these in my collection and I adore them. They are super comfortable and I got by the way, all my shoes are size 37. There's only one pair here that doesn't fit and I will tell you why. It is just the different leathers and also the design of the shoes. But 37, which is my very normal size, if you can still get these girlies. I think they may run into the sale like next time or something if they're still on stock. If you can get them, I highly recommend you to get them. They are so, so comfortable and you can dress them up or down like they can go with really casual jeans or even a very nice princessy dress that I'm wearing right now. So they're really versatile. They can dress up or down. So yay, and my favorite pair and only pair of Chanel sneakers. So I think I'll break it up with a pair of shoes that I didn't use yet, that I just got recently. And seriously, I can't wait to use them. They are so beautiful. So my very first pair of Chanel sling bags, and these are from the my very crazy 21S collection. I do have more unboxings from this collection coming. You know, I am going all nuts and crazy over this lilac pink collie. Gives me butterflies. <laughs> and this collie goes to all of those handbags from this collection. I even got a handbag totally matching with these sling bags and I may even input the clip right here from my shopping vlog. I just think they are so nice and the sling bags really elongate my leg. The only reason that I haven't worn them yet is because I enjoyed my leg right after I purchased these and till today my bone is still a bit swollen so I will try my very best to wait a bit so my leg will be totally recovered when I walk in heels. I don't want to like break my leg one more time. Do you get what I mean? So I am just waiting <laughs> and I can't wait to wear them. These definitely look so nice to skirts like my very princessy tulip skirts or like even high-waisted jeans, they will be perfect with any of my Chanel pink handbags. So the very next pair I got is Adidas ballerinas and it is the exact same color. So you will see the color combo is the exact same. NC022 <laughs> baby pink color with the cap toe in the nicest coolish tone. Baby pink which is my favorite. So ballet flats are one of my favorite pairs of Chanel shoes as well. So I think if I have to choose one pair, then it will still be Espudios just because they work so great for my everyday life. But if I want to be a little bit more girly and feminine, then ballet flats will be like number two. I don't know, maybe sneakers, I don't know. But uh, so hard to decide. These are just so beautiful and very, very sweet looking. So I noticed that these are much more comfortable than any of the other pair of 
Bali Blast that I have from Chanel but I think it's because this lambskin is really super soft so it really depends you can see these are also brand brand new I didn't use them yet and I didn't even tape them yet so I have some that I taped and some that I didn't tape and I can really see that those that I taped they hold up so much better than those that didn't and again they will look so extremely cute at all of my Chanel bags in pink pink color <laughs> am I right? so I'll show you how they look at me again so the next Ta-da! <laughs> Another pair of pink ballet flats. So these are, I think, my very first pair of Chanel shoes. And these are again in lambskin. These ones are not as soft, but I guess because they're much thicker. You see from the newer ones, they are just flat, whereas this is quilted, so double layered. I really love the quilting of the classic Chanel ballerina flats but it does make them more hard but I guess that is also depending on each and every single collection as you know the same for handbags they can feel so different depending on the collection so I really love these ones as well and these really go so so well to my rosy pink you can't see her because it's deep inside my rosy pink <laughs> classic flap in the small size and I was wearing it as well for my photo shoot and I will input some pictures right here so you can see or even a video clip they just look so nice together and this is just a very happy pop of pink color so you know I love the pale baby pink more but I also love I like these rosy pink tones I just wear them less than baby pink but I do still wear them so all of these they are looking really pristine this is what I'm talking about with the tape on. Just please don't look at the <laughs> dirt. It is holding so much better, holding up so much well over than I will show you a pair that I didn't tape and they look awful. It is just, if it's not indoor, as soon as you walk outside in them, then they will be totally scratched underneath. For espadrilles, you don't need to tape them because it's like this rubber sole and it is much more durable, but you can always get them resolved. So yes, it is not a problem. I just want to protect mine extra well. So that is this pair of Chanel ballet flats. And then my next pair, and we are going over to the least used ones. So I love these so, so much, but they are just not comfortable at all. So these are from my very favorite 19S collection. That I also went totally nuts over the best pink dream pink collection ever and till today every single item that I bought I bought like 20 something from the 19s collection I've kept them all I still have them all even though there are some that I didn't even open and use I just love that collection so so much so except of the two card holders that I gave away for giveaway to you girlies then I have all of them still and even though these are not comfortable I wouldn't consider to sell them just because they are so special and so pretty and they are just beautiful right so girly they are still like brand brand new as I only walked in them one time the day after I got them and tried to get them stretched but I think because of this mesh material then it can't be stretched but they are just so pretty the embroidery of these they're just so stunning right I love them so so much I will just walk in them like this and I think that is okay right so if you compare this to this these are just super comfy and these are like a pain to walk in but I thought I will give it some time and maybe stretch them a bit but it didn't work and it can't be stretched any further because of the mesh material but if you're even going to stretch a pair like this, it is going to stretch so so much because of the lambskin. So yes, if you are looking to buy something comfortable, go for the lambskin ones. And yes, now we are going to the very last pair that I own. So I don't have many Chanel shoes. Much easier to fill. <laughs> so my very last pair of shoes. And I said lambskin is much, much easier and more comfortable to wear, right? I'm not going to buy any more Carrier Chanel shoes for sure. 
is so beautiful. <laughs> Baby pink caviar, Bali flats, really hard to come by. But to be honest, since I have been wearing lambskin and they're holding up like they are not so delicate as lambskin handbags, so I'm not really afraid of it. So even though caviar is so sought after, they're just not comfortable. These are like very very tight and I just thought they would become stretched like my lambskin ones and they just didn't. And now let me show you the soles. So I only wear these like two times outside. So both times like outdoors, so not indoors. So this is how they look like because I didn't take them. So this is what I'm telling you girlies. You can really see, yes, they will get scratched up so fast. And you know, for shoes, it is not like handbags. Once you have worn them outside, it is quite hard to get rid of them if they don't fit you. So really highly recommend you to try the shoes on like take your time and try to wear them with stockings, without stockings and because I did try mine with stockings on, it was so much easier to wear them I will try again to stretch them but I don't think they can be stretched any further and I will say these will fit a 36 and a half much better because I am a normal size a 37 I use a 37 in Nike as well but these really they are too tight for me and I really feel like I should not keep them and I am actually willing to let them go but you know shoes they are not easy to sell so I don't mind having them as well they are just really beautiful very pink and nice for pictures right they are really pretty but not comfortable to wear so yes girlies that was the very last pair of Chanel shoes that I have so you can see I don't have uh, that many Chanel shoes but I still do have quite a few pairs I just think it is very worth the money to have a few pair that goes with different types of outfits and matches your different handbags that is just really nice to complete the look so I guess uh, that is it for this video girlies so just a little short one I really hope that you enjoyed it and I promise you that I will film my Chanel handbag collection really soon it is just going to be a very big project as I do I think I'm hitting 40 Chanel bags if I have not already hit it so it is going to be a very long one also don't forget to join me over on instagram i do upload so much more often over there and you can see much more of my styling like my daily outfits bag of the days much more of my business some dancing and sometimes my doggies so there's so much sparkle of happiness over there so thank you so so much for watching this video so until next time stay beautiful happy and blessed i will see you again really soon bye girlies <laughs> this is like snow white oh my gosh i can't describe how much i love the small size classic flap